Hey, did you know I have a Patreon now? If you want to support the channel even more, please consider donating. Every tier from $2 and up gets rewards and it would help out a ton. So go check out patreon.com forward slash MNO and see what you think. $2 and up patrons get priority on which planets I do. $5 and up patrons get shouted out at the end of each video. $10 and up patrons get access to an exclusive podcast called Terra Inform, where I discuss some science and the current state of terraforming IRL. And $20 patrons will get access to exclusive digital content on a monthly basis. Think PDFs, images, etc. That will usually roll around on the 20th of the month. So check it out, and I'd love to see you all there. Hello, peoples of the internet. This is Emino, and we are back with Terragenesis Mercury. So let's go ahead and unpause this game. And we are back at it. We are still increasing pressure. And we are still working towards victory. So let's go ahead and put that culture point towards it. And we only have 450,000 credits right now. Let's check where our money is coming from and where it's going to. We've got 11,087 credits per minute coming in. And we are spending 3,500 credits per minute maintaining facilities. Our largest source of income appears to be the level 2 aerostat platform in Yedborough. Followed by the level 4 silver mine in Ashina. And then the... Level 1 silver mine in Ashina. Alright, and if I'm not mistaken, we are currently capped out at 596 population. Yep. And we're building an Atmogen suite, and also upgrading this HAB unit to level 3. And did I see that we have a second? Nope, we only have one colony right now. That's what I thought. Now let's come over to pressure. We're growing at 22 per minute. And that's all good. Uh, we're currently dropping at a rate of 59 mega millikelvin per minute. And... That is all also good. Let's see what this transmission is to free Genesis points. Sure, I'll take you up on that. Please bear with me, everybody. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back, everyone. We've got two Genesis points now, and <clears throat> still not that much to do. So let's actually come over to the research tab and we've got a hab complex finishing being constructed in roughly an hour 51 minutes and what is this transmission cultural revenue we don't need any of that but thank you so let's just come back over here and while we're waiting i'm going to check to see if we've got any mercury related questions and answer them if we do let's see i'd say, i'd guess that they're most likely to be on this most recent episode uh let's go back an episode Oh, give me your tired, give me your poor. Um, no, we don't have any room for, for the tired and the poor right now, unfortunately. Let's see. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like we've got any new Mercury-related Mercury questions, so... I So we don't have any questions to answer while we wait for something to happen... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and um Let's see mining and cultural revenue. Uh 
I guess so. All right, I'll be right back, everyone. Please bear with me. Oops, I think I just, um, I think I just ref I declined that offer. Oh, well. So, while we wait for something new to happen, uh, oh, I guess I could talk about my Patreon, because I did, I did, I do have a Patreon, and I've more or less officially released it just, just recently, so let me do a quick bit of talking about that. So, I've got a Patreon now, like I just told you, and... You'll have heard a, a little blurb about it at the beginning of this video. But basically, every month, um, my patrons will my patrons will give me will I uh, will donate some money. Let's see, falling star. Uh, let's let it crash. So it's a it's a monthly thing because um, if I did it. If I did it per creation, then every time I upload a video, you guys would uh, would have to donate some money, and I want and and I don't want to be I don't want to be taking too much of your money. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and accept this offer. I'll be right back, and we will continue talking about Patreon. Please bear with me, everyone. All right, and we're back with three more Genesis points. So, like I was saying, it's a monthly thing because, for example, if you were, if you want, were, wanted to donate five dollars per creation, then every month you would be, if I keep my schedule, then every month you would be donating roughly forty dollars. Let's see. Because I release three, five, I release five times four is 20 times another five. You'd be donating $100 every month. And if that's what you wanted to do, then I guess who am I to stop you? Yay, two more Genesis points. But to keep things more reasonable while also being able to release an, an appropriate amount of videos every week and every month, I have chosen to do it on a monthly basis. That way you can still support the channel and while not giving exuberant amounts of money and I can still put out as much high quality content as I can every month without having to worry about kind of, uh, without kind of worrying about buffering the Amount, the amount of videos that I do so that I can, so, uh, uh, out of consideration for you guys, because of course, because of course fans are important and I love each and every one of you, so it, I'm trying to make this more of a symbiotic relationship where I give high quality content and you guys support the channel in, however, in whatever way you feel appropriate. And, um, and as far as the benefits go, um, for $2 and up patrons, you get priority on the, on the planets that I, that I choose to terraform next. And for $5 and up patrons, you also get shouted out at the end of each video. And, um... You get shouted out at the end of each video, and you... Oh, let me, uh... Sorry, let me pull that up. I mean, you'll have heard this all before. $5 and up patrons, you get shouted out. $10 and up patrons, you get access to a podcast that I'll be starting when I have a $10 or up and up patron um, called Terra Inform, where I will be talking about things that have been happening in real life that have to do with terraforming and colonizing other planets and the science behind it and all that sort of stuff. And for $20 patrons, and of course you could donate more if you wanted than if you wanted um, via the choose your amount 
option. But for $20 patrons, you will be receiving uh, exclusive digital content like PDFs, images, background background sort of images, um, maybe, maybe music, maybe other digital content. And you'll be receiving one to two files, probably via email um, or via email or via Patreon, Patreon.com, probably around the 20th of the month, every month. So please go ahead and um, please, please consider it. Of course, you don't have to donate if you don't want to, but of course it would mean a lot and I would love to be able to give back to the community via the via the benefits and maybe via other things that I that I decided to put out to my patrons later on. But let's go ahead and take this um, take this transmission offer. I'll be right back everyone. Oh it looked like it was a transmission but it might not have been. Alright so Let's um, come up and just take a quick look at Mercury as it rotates on its axis. All right, and I think that's enough looking for right now. Let's see what this transmission is. Mining revenue boost? Sure, I'll take that. Please bear with me, everyone. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And we've come back to a terrorist attack. No harm was done, but there was a terrorist cell calling it the Sword of Mercury that attempted a bombing inside the HAB unit at Yadborough. Well, and that's just what we get for uh, attempting to become more independent. Because for those of you who haven't heard from my Mars series, the closer you, be you get to independence on any given world, the more terrorist attacks will happen, the more anti-intellectualism movements will crop up, the more meteorites will show up in earthquakes and that sort of thing. And it's just to help keep the game interesting as you're moving towards victory. Let's uh, go ahead and decline that. We've already got it under lock. And the year is currently 2494. We have 617,000 credits in climbing. We have a maxed out population of 596 at the moment. And... Uh, our current priority is to increase air pressure. Now let's go ahead and examine Yedbro really quickly here. And yep, as soon as the HAB unit finishes building, we will have more more population slots, and um, actually, I don't think we'll be able to um, hit 1,000 population with just two uh, with with just a level three hab unit and a level ten hab unit because the level ten the level ten hab unit only offers only offers 468 population slots. So let's go ahead and hurry this for one Genesis point. And now we've got more population more population slots now. Um, let's go to Heisen refresh to refresh Yedboro. And we'd be growing at a rate of 12 people per minute without the children's crutch. Let's uh, demolish 
that and build oh and i think we're, i think we're researching hab complex right now that sounds right because we're definitely going to want to build that uh massive fissure has opened on the surface of mercury uh spilling toxic gases into the atmosphere and diluting the con the con the con oxygen content significantly oh man all of our non-existent oxygen has just been diluted significantly uh incoming transmission cultural revenue no thanks let's go ahead and yeah hab complex hour 38 minutes seven genesis points yeah that's that's important enough to rush now let's come over to yedbro and build ourselves a nice hab complex and pardon the phone in the background. Um, I think somebody else in the house is going to get it in just a minute here. Um, and... Um, yeah, in 36 minutes... We will fin we will have finished building the Atmogen suite and in an hour and fourteen minutes we will have finished building the Hab complex. And that is really all we can do for right now. So um Let's go ahead and check out our stats. Oh, fissure vents. It actively decreases oxygen. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we can work with that. Uh, we've got 22 pascals per minute of growth in... Air pressure, thanks to a level 10 thermal dust facility in Yedbro. We've got 59 uh, millikelvin per minute decrease of temperature, thanks to an aerostat platform. And it's being counteracted 1 millikelvin per minute by atmospheric thickening. We don't have any water, and we're losing are zero oxygen to fissure vents which i wonder if that renders on the planet um so let's go ahead and take this uh genesis point offer i'll be right back everyone and we're back everyone we've got two more genesis points and uh let's go ahead and release that water it's gonna evaporate anyways Now let's go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, let's go ahead and, um, check out if that, if those fissure vents render on the surface. And, uh, please excuse me, everyone, just one moment. Thank you for waiting, everybody. I might I might end up just cutting that out of the video, but let's go ahead and check out this transmission. Okay. And um, there might be a bit of a vent there. In fact, let's go ahead and take a manual look over the planet. That might be something... Overall, the rendering of the planet doesn't look to have changed too drastically. Which, which is expected. I didn't think that those vents would render on the, on the actual planet, but it would have been cool if they did. Uh, 
All right, and it looks like we've already capped out again at 638. Yep. So in just over an hour, an hour, 10 minutes, we will get significantly more population, significantly more population slots, and that will help our progress immensely. So let's, um, let's go ahead and think of something else to do while we're waiting for that to finish up. That's where this transmission is. Uh, short video to free Genesis points. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the last commercial break for Mercury unless we get a three Genesis point offer. So I'll be right back, everyone. Thanks for continuing to bear with me. All right, and we're back, everyone, with two more Genesis points. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and decide what to research next, I guess. Oh. Uh, no harm was done, but the Aerostat platform had a bombing attempt occur on it. And that's pretty scary. Um, yeah, more terrorist attacks. Okay, that's not good. Mining revenue boost. We've got it, thanks. Um, how about we research? Actually, you know what might be a good investment of um, credits is to see if we could found a new outpost, which would take 3 million credits. So that's going to be a major goal. Plus we need the credits to actually construct mines there. Um, but it should all work out in the end. Let's see if we can't go ahead and build another silver mine somewhere. Seems, ooh, right around there seems, there seems to be quite a bit and we need to um, spend three Genesis points. How much does it cost? I'm not sure, but let's remember that near the, very near the top right corner, there is a silver mine. Okay, so now we know, oh, it might cost 200,000. Okay, anyways, anyways, um, incoming transmission, mining revenue. No, thank you, we've got it. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um, you know I don't have that much more more that there's not that much more to do on Mercury right now, so. Before we before we uh, end this episode, let's come over to Yedbro. Just double check that everything is as it is, as it should be. And I think I'm going to leave this this game running for for a bit between this episode and the next one, so that way there will be more things to actually do this next episode. So, um, yeah, last thing to do before the outro rolls is to just double check. Yep, we've got zero slots. I was gonna check where we are. The answer is far too hot, far too little pressure, and far too little oxygen or water. Good to know. Transmission, three free Genesis points. Um, 
You know, I'm gonna go ahead and decline this one just because we're so close to the end of the video. But thank you. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Sorry this episode wasn't quite as, um, quite as eventful as other episodes usually are. I promise to do my best to fix that for the next episode. But in the meantime, thank you again so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this game, about this particular world, or ooh, or any other planet, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just just a quick, just one quick reminder at the very end to go ahead and check out my Patreon. I don't want to drive that home too hard, but I do I do feel like the benefits are pretty good, and it's it gives me a really good way to give back to the community besides just answering any questions you might have on on a particular planet that we're doing a series on. And also, um, it's worth noting that... If I if I reach 500 patrons, then every Saturday I'll be doing a 30 minute Q and A session live on YouTube. I'll go to like streaming. I'll go to like the streaming option and just stream a face cam of me for 30 minutes, and you guys can get on chat and ask questions about Terra Genesis and about other games. And I will answer them all for 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and do paid broadcasts here. And with that, uh, I'll leave you guys to your lives. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been Emino. This is Terragenesis Mercury. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.